Hi guys, hope you're okay. So just continuing in from my um, from the previous video, I've left Ard Ardbeg and I'm on my way to just crossing the road. Right? Yep, to Lagavulin. Now just to let you guys know that um, when we first came here, even in fact the last time we were here a few years ago, there actually wasn't a path from Ardbeg to um, Lefroig but there is now and it's made everything safer so I'm on that path at the minute as you can see let's do that so can you just imagine that during the whiskey festivals when people are a little bit tipsy you know staring in the road because basically that's what it was they had to walk on the road to the next distillery and I can just imagine how hazardous that would have been for both driver and and pedestrian Anyway, so I'm on the safe path to Lagavulin. I'm nearly there now. So let's get to Lagavulin, try some whiskies. So I'm here at Lagavulin finally and I'm enjoying a dram, a complimented dram of the distillers edition. I'm not 100% sure what the tasty notes are but at the end of the day if you like a whiskey or anything comes to think of it it doesn't matter about what the notes are. So I'm gonna have a sip now and let you know my thoughts. That is beautiful and it's the whiskey, it's the type of whiskey that reminds me why I fell in love with Lagavulin in the first place. This is a quality, quality whiskey. So now I'm having a sample, a dram of the, the eight year old. As you can see, it's a, a lot lighter in colour. So let's just cut to the chase and try it. Again, really nice. It's, um, yeah. I like it. <laughs> Let's not beat around the bush and try to be um, pretentious about it. It's a really good whiskey. Um, and it's, you know, it sort of contradicts the old the uh, adage that the older the whiskey, the nicer it is. That's not necessarily true. And in fact, for Lagavulin, um, they're 16 year old and they're 12 year old. Um, I actually prefer their 12 year old. They seem to do really good younger whiskies. Um, so yeah, this eight year old is very good. I've still not decided what I'm going to get from here yet. But I can relax. I'm in a nice room. It's like a bit of a tasting room slash library slash cigar room. And I'm relaxed. I've got about an hour left. So I've got to head down to Lefroig soon, get a sample from there and then meet the wife. 
so now I've got a drum of an exclusive bottling so you can only buy it here at Lago Berlin the distillate edition um, released last year, bottled last year here we go yet again Lago Berlin this is another whiskey, which reminds me why, like I said previously, I fell in love with with their whiskies. Stunning, absolutely stunning, and it's worth buying. Really worth buying. Probably the best, definitely in the top two whiskies I've tried today. So, what a difference an hour makes. Or so, I've tried probably the best whiskey. Um, on this holiday. Dark Cove, Odd Big Dark Cove is in second place I would say. But I've walked out and guess what? Isla being Isla is actually raining. Now I'm gonna walk to the Freud and see what they've got to offer. And while I'm walking I'm gonna think about how beautiful that whiskey from Lagavulin is so I'll see you guys in a bit but before I go um, if you enjoyed this video if you could like and or subscribe tell all your friends about it all your enemies your mom your dad your mother your brother your sister everybody that you can think of share and get the name out of Brompton all right then bye